Hello, my name is Shopa Zodi. I am a staff member of Refugio Munich and a qualified parental trainer. The project Eltern Active of Refugio offers parental trainings in various native languages. Today, I would like to provide you with some practical advice which are useful to you in order to create a peaceful atmosphere at home during this period of exit restrictions due to the actual corona pandemic. At this moment, many parents declare, I am not allowed to meet or visit other families or other children due to the corona crisis. Also, because of the coronavirus, children are not permitted to attend school and access the playground. I am at home all the time in our room or in our apartment, and I actually do not know what to do right now. When parents and children are spending all their time locked in a room, mostly listening to news about the coronavirus, they might be annoyed, aggressive, stressed, nervous and fearful as a consequence. Children will find it hard to concentrate. They often have no desire to do anything. They feel sad and cannot sleep at night. Therefore, we have to protect our children from media consumption during this specific times. It is better when you as a parent explain to your children why they are not permitted to play with other children these days. Speak with your child about the current situation. Please take a moment for that. If your child addresses you and wants to talk to you, then interrupt your activities in that moment and focus your attention on your child. Look into the eyes of your child, take him or her into your arms, and listen attentively to what it wants to share with you. Repeat what you have heard and pose questions in order to really understand your child. Explain the current situation to your child in a way that it can understand the regulations concerning the exit restrictions. At the end of this video, we will demonstrate in a role play how you can talk to your child about this. Some parents report to us, my child behaves often agitated, cries and does not know what it wants. Then I also get frustrated because I do not know how to handle my child in such situations. Often I find myself at the age of exploding and feeling like I want to hit my child. Before you explode or lose control, we advise you to calm down first. Here are some strategies how to relax your temper. A. You could open the window and look outside. B. You could leave the room and drink a glass of cool water. C. Lock your arms behind your back to prevent hitting your child out of affect. Some people cool their temper by singing a song or praying. If this does not work for you, then arrange for someone who could look after your younger children. Go out on the doorstep, if this is permitted in the refugee camp, take a short walk and try to breathe deeply. Exhale. Further, you could go out to the bathroom, wash your face and neck with cold water. Return to your room only after you have calmed yourself. What do our children need in situations such as this? Children want to have the feeling that we understand their emotions and moods. Parents can achieve this by labeling and describing a specific feeling. This means that parents must find words for the negative and unpleasant feelings children display. When my child is sad, then I will tell him or her, for example, I can see that you are sad because you cannot 
see your friends for quite a while. I can understand that you are, you are angry and bored because you cannot do the things that you used to do before the coronavirus. These days, many parents ask, what could I possibly do with my child so that it doesn't feel bored? Even if children are not attending school or kindergarten at this moment, just now it is important to plan the day together with them and reflect about potential activities with them. This plan should be a regular scheme and be valid every day. A definite structure will give your children a feeling of safety. For example, regular common playing times, plan regular hours for sleeping, eating, waking up, and doing physical exercise. This helps to prevent stress, fear, and boredom. Going out for a walk with your children is possible if this is in compliance with the specific regulations of your refugee camp. Otherwise, all activities must take place within the premises of your camp. At home, you could watch a children's film together with the whole family, draw pictures and do creative handicrafts. Contacts with your friends and family members are possible via telephone, video, or recording a common audio message which could be sent to your loved ones. At the moment, your children do not attend school and their homeworks are sent to them. Sometimes parents cannot support their children with their school assignments. If your children do not understand their assignments and you are not able to help them, or you lack devices like computer or printer, then get in touch with your teacher directly by telephone. The teacher will give you a hint where you can get support. Do plan regular times for the accomplishment of homeworks and integrate pleasant activities afterwards as a reward, which you can undertake together with your child. For example, playing outside in the open air. In order to enable your child to do its assignments by itself, there is the Anton app. For common sports activities with children, there are videos on the Alba YouTube channel. These apps and further links will be placed in the description down below this video. Many thanks for your attention Stay safe and take care. Hi, darling. Hello, mommy. Where are you going? I'm going outside. I see you have put on your shoes. Do you like them? I like them very much. Yeah. I'm, I'm so sorry, outside. but I have to tell you something. You cannot go outside. Why not? Because there is this coronavirus and we are not allowed to go outside. No, please, mommy. I, 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 I need to go outside. I have to meet Melissa. I have already talked to her. Oh, sweetie, I understand that you want to go outside and that you're missing Melissa and you want to go outside. Yes, to, very you want much. To, yeah, yeah, I understand. I also understand that you want to go outside to play. Yeah, yeah. I, I cannot stay inside anymore. All it's the time, boring. yes. It's boring, I understand. It's really boring. I really can understand. You've been the whole week at home yeah. and you haven't met Melissa and you're missing her. Yeah. Is that right? Yeah, exactly. I understand. Yeah. Now, please listen to me. I have to tell you something. This coronavirus is a very dangerous little virus that is very invisible. We cannot see it. Yeah? Is it? Yeah. It's very dangerous. So we are not okay. supposed to meet other people so that other people cannot infect us and we cannot infect others. Yeah, but I have already been sick. With Corona? Uh, I don't know. We don't know if we have Corona or not. You see? Oh, really? Yeah, that's why we have to stay inside and we, don't, we also don't know whether Melissa has Corona or not or her family has yeah, Corona. I don't think so. You cannot see it. You don't know. Uh -huh. So that's why everybody has to stay at home. That's why you are not allowed to go. That's why you're not allowed to attend school. Even your teacher, all the 
children at school. Everyone in Germany must stay at home. But I cannot stay I here anymore. It's so boring. I understand, honey. It's really, really boring. I understand. But you know something? <laughs> I know that you miss Melissa. So you can call yes, her. You can call her and talk to her. Okay? You can call, yeah, you can call Melissa and talk to her. And I'll offer you something. You can, against your boredom, you can, um, for example, play with a rope, skipping the rope what you like, or we could um, do pancakes. Alone. We could do pancakes together. Okay, together with you? Yes. Okay. Which one do you choose? Which option? Yeah, let's do pancakes together. Okay, when do you want to call Melissa? Before or after? Uh, after the pancakes. After the pancakes, all right. Okay. Right? Have you understood about the corona virus? Mm, yeah, a little that, bit. Yeah, we are not supposed to go out, okay? Yeah. Darling, thank you for listening for me. And we'll do the pancakes now. I love you, mommy. I love you too, sweetie.